Hello folks and welcome to Model Rocket Series 3 Episode 4 The Maiden Flight and Level 2 Attempt uh, As some of you probably saw, Sky Shark's a bit dead, its head is on the wall behind me Pushed it a bit too hard and uh, yeah, it was pretty spectacular um, Quantum Leap though, it's uh, always been a, a super serious project and uh, you know I'm looking to get the aerial footage which is what you guys come to my channel to watch and it's going to be a perfect launch vehicle for a camera, nice and gentle but really high and really put on a show. So let's put it to the test. So some of you may be wondering what uh, level 2 is, as you can see I'm on the Eucra website up here. Eucra level 2 certification J class to L class. Um, so I've done my level 1 which means I can do H and I class motors and uh, as you can see here this means I can do J through to L class. As you go up a letter, the power doubles from the previous letter, so it's quite a significant increase in power. And in order to do it, you have to have uh, passed your level one certification, which I did back in April, uh, pass a written multiple choice exam, and also uh, demonstrate a successful test flight, which you can see up here. So that's what we're trying to do now. So let's have a look at the motor. Okay folks, here you can see the motor I'm going to be using for Quantum Leap's maiden flight and my level 2 attempt. It's quite conservative considering the stakes. It's a 648 Newton second J285 classic 15 second adjustable delay except for I'm going to be removing all the black powder from the front of this motor as the recovery systems are ejected by the altimeter on board and behind that is the Pro 38 6 grain casing so I can just put a spacer in there and we'll use that. Okay let's have a look at the performance. Okay folks as you can see we're in Roxim you've probably worked out by now since we've only got one motor it's going to be a single stage flight for the Maiden and my level 2 attempt the rocket is loaded up down here in single stage configuration. I've done the maths over I put in the exact figures 2,120 grams, 2.1 kilos, and the CFG is 980 millimeters back from the nose cone. So let's do the interesting bit and prep it for flight. Display engine list now. Let's have a look for the J285. Here it is. Okay, and we'll select none. Um, as you see in flight events, I've got deploy apogee as the altimeter is going to detect apogee and put the parachute, uh, the drogue out at exactly the right time, which is handy. <laughs> All right, launch, and away we go. As I say, the purpose of this rocket is uh, gentle high altitude flights, and we're looking at 4,500 feet. Well, that's pretty damn good, and only 460 miles an hour. Happy with that. A little under 13 G, so nice and gentle, and uh, time to apogee about 16 second flight. So again, lots to enjoy. Optimal delay, 13 and a half seconds. As I say, we're not so bothered about that this time because the onboard electronics takes care of that. Right, let's hope for a good one.
billowing column of smoke. Fire! 